Good morning. My name is Michael Miano. And again, I want to take you through uh, seed sowing. Remember last time we did what we call the nursery preparation. But today I want to take you through how to sow the seed. Um, remember, we are talking about uh, this is a nursery and uh, uh, nursery for a crop called Bracaria glass. So we said yesterday how to do a bed, how to prepare a bed. Uh, and we said for one kg for Bracaria glass, you need approximately a bed of 30 meter long and width of one meter. That is 30 meter square. The bed should be raised to approximately one foot. Now, after making a bed, the next step, which is very, very important, that you should either do that day of sowing or before, is what we call watering. Water the bed thoroughly with the best method that will not interfere with the, le the level and the form of the bed. So do watering thoroughly. Either I would prefer maybe a day or some hours before sowing. After watering, we may do what we call drenching. Drenching is putting chemicals in the soil. Why are we doing by drenching? There are those soil pests that may interfere with the seeds. And most, um, uh, the most notable is the termites. Termites uh, like um, the Bracaria seeds. So you can sow and the termites eat them. There may be other soil bone pests. Then uh, Bracaria glass, just like any other glass, is very prone to uh, some soil bone diseases, especially Fusarium uh, wilt and Lesotania sorani. So we may decide to drench against these diseases and any other soil pathogen uh, in the nursery. How do we do it? There are those who say in grass farming we may use organic way. It is well and good. But for organic, uh, for the inorganic way, you can use imidacloprid. Any chemical is imidacloprid. Um, will deal with the termites. Uh, then, for, for, for the diseases, use cabedazine. Any chemical with cabedazine will deal with, uh, uh, with, uh, 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 with these diseases. Now, after drenching, the next thing is making drills. Drills are what we call shallow furrows. These are just small lines. You can either use a very small, a thin, a thin stick or even your your finger how do we do it let them separate one from the other using 10 centimeter so in a meter in a, in a bed of one meter we have approximately 10 drills along the bed along the bed the others who says they can do a cut across but the most advisable way is along the bed. The reason is, when I'm on this side of the bed, I can at least teach the half of the bed, and on the other side the same way. But when it's cut across, then it it, uh, it brings some 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 confusion. Or is east west orientation. So the drills should be ten cent centimeter apart and one one inch deep. That is two point five centimeter. Now, after now making the drills, the next thing that we make is sowing the seeds. Sowing the seeds. There are two ways you can do it. One, you may spread the seed thinly, one by one across the drill. One by one across the drill. So it, it may take time, but it could be the best. Make sure that one seed does not sit on the other. Spread them thinly. Now, in the case perhaps you are doing a larger area, maybe 10 kg of this, then you can take the seeds and mix with a known amount of sand. Maybe, let's take a, a case of 1 kg of Bracaria seed to 10 kg of sand. Mix them thoroughly, then go spreading across the drill, inside the drill. Those are two ways. You can decide which is the best for you. After that, take a very fine soil verified soil and cover cover the seed thinly just cover a small cover if you deep cover most of the seed may not germinate 
So you cover it as well. And after that, come up with a dry glass, dry glass, and cover the whole bed. We avoid wet glass. What happened with uh, wet glass is that it bring it it create a mat, a mat, a mat. Um, uh, if it's a mat, it restricts movement of both air and water. So make sure that you cover with a dry glass. You may use other materials. Some people use net. Other use uh, jute uh, bags. But I would maybe recommend for a dry just cover. The reason why we cover there, one, we need warmth during germination. Uh, we want water to stay in water. We want to regulate temperature also. That's the reason why we cover. We want to maintain the heat. Then, after covering with the dry glass, you pitch watering and then drench. And this spray of chemical should also touch the dry glass. The reason why we're doing that is to avoid the termites and inside, inside the soil to avoid the soil bone diseases. So, to conclude, we are saying for your bed, water, drench, and we are saying uh, we are drenching because of soil bone uh, pest, termites. Uh, another pest that uh, usually like um, Brachelia seed is the bird, but one now you cover uh, well because the birds can't come and, and interfere. Make your glaze, spread the seeds, cover with a fine soil, cover with a dry glass, what and drench. The question is, the last question might be number eight is, do you need to put a shade? Like I said yesterday, it depends on your area. If it is too hot, you can. If too cold, you can. But for bacteria glass does not have so many issues. Thank you. The next uh, topic will be how do we manage our nursery? Thank you very much.